Okay, hello. This is my last attempt here at a video. I've tried now so many times my camera keeps failing on me. Um just gonna make a as quick as I can video of this the SCX ten that I built. Um I've owned it for four months now, something like that. It's been through several different bodies and forms and uh this is the final product and I'm getting rid of it here pretty quick so um I'm just gonna go over some stuff my setup that I run and how I built it and the internals and the parts I use and what went into it. Uh it's pretty much built as far as you can build a drivetrain as far as the axles transmission and that stuff goes. Built all the way. Um no tube or anything but it's I mean, it's everything but a tuber. <laughs> so, um, I made the bumper for it. It's got a homemade front steel bumper. Designed, designed off of the RC four-wheel drive bumpers, which I have on the rear. Um, at first these were out, straight out like this. I bent them up to accommodate this body. The body sits down like that. Uh, it's a new bright JK four door, as you can see. Homemade soft top. Um, just made that real quick, like threw it on there. This is usually held on a little better. Um, I use a bungee cord that wraps around here and it tightens it up. It's not on there right now, so this flips up to open. Get all the scale crap back there, goodies. Matco toolbox, jumper cables, firewood, sleeping bag, dog, uh, driver flipping the bird, ultimate decals, so we got the speedometers and the GPS and all that good crap. Um, some light buckets that double as mirrors, so about it as far as the body, high lift jack on the front. And it's got light buckets on it and everything drilled. It had lights in it. I actually had lights in it, but uh, I took them out, put them in the chev body. But uh, you can see here that I used the fender flares as inner fender wells on the front here. I was going to do the same on the back, sided against it because there's no real, nothing's really getting up in there. Up here, when you're turning and you're on a wet, wet surface or a dirty surface it really helps to keep the keep the crap out of the truck it helps a lot these get really dirty and it keeps most of it out still gets in there I mean as you can see it's dirty in here but um it works well the only thing I had to hack is the floorboards out of the back here to get it to fit and then just a little bit out of the front side of the console here it's the only part I had to cut out to Clear the spur here on this. Didn't have to flip the trans or nothing like that. Um, SCX10 chassis, axial. Uh, as I said before, homemade front bumper with the shackles. Homemade shackles as well. Made of cotter pins. Uh, an RC four-wheel drive rear bumper. You can see the design is about. You can see the design I went off of. Uh, to make the front bumper as well. I just went off of this design where the where the rod here runs underneath the mounting bracket uh, and it welds to it. Makes for a really strong setup. It's a good design. RC four wheel drive did there. So as you can see, I pretty much did the same thing up here with that. So. Uh, as far as electronics go, Hobbyco, CS170, servo, titanium gears, uh, STRC, aluminum hubs, knuckles, rear lockout, straight axle combo kit, uh, axial CVDs with gunner pins. If you're familiar with gunner, he's a vendor on rcc.com, rccrawler.com. A little dirty in there, but um, 
bulletproof. Uh, go with the Gunner pens if you get axial CVDs. It's about 30 bucks for the CVDs, and then it's like two bucks for pens. Um, actually, here they are right here. Uh, I'll show you here. These are the pens that he sends you on this sheet. Uh, there's drill pins, A1 pins, and I've also got the uh, hex pins, the drive hex pins in there too. So, uh, hand bros, three link up front, um, three link pan hard set up up front, bent drag link there, bent tie rod, shaved axles. Um, inside there, we got aluminum diff cups. Golden Horizons aluminum diff cups inside both axles um, with iron cross steel lockers and uh, axial hardened steel gears as well. Um, they're the curved curved cut ones, you know, the or the spiral cut gears also. So I mean, this thing's absolutely bomb proof. The axles are uh, aluminum diff cups. Uh, I put the iron cross lockers in the stock plastic ones and it spun, the locker spun right inside the plastic diff cup on me so happened a couple times I had to just go and get aluminum diff cups and it hasn't happened since I've taken them apart and, and uh, main, m didn't, done maintenance on them and everything is just like brand new nowhere on the gears, those hardened gears man they work awesome uh, I've got steel drive lines as well um, I originally built this with a Venom Creeper kit. It had Creeper axles under it. So I still got the Venom Creeper links, which I love. Steel balls and bent ball ends. 7mm uh, links, which are thicker than the 6mm axials. Um, they're really strong. Never had a failure on one of these links yet. Great links. Uh, they work good. For 100 bucks for the Creeper kit, I mean, if you're going to build one of these from scratch, I'd go ahead and buy a creeper kit just to, I mean, just to use the hardware. It comes with so many screws and nuts and bolts and spacers and aluminum washers and aluminum spacers and just a bunch of nice stuff that you can actually use. The shocks are by far my favorite shocks I've ever used. They never leak a drop oil. Never, ever leak oil. Um, I swapped in the gold titanium nitride shafts out of an axial shock into these shocks and that's the only mod I did. I didn't really need it but um, put the internal springs underneath the front underneath the pistons front and rear uh, droop in the rear complete droop and semi droop up front sprung um, got the so three link pan hard up front uh, steel drive lines four link axial truss in the rear as you can see and I used plastic links up top in the rear to keep it light as I could up top. And same with the front. Uh, you know, having one link and all that lightens it up, up up high. Keeps the weight down low. As far as electronics, go back to that. The Hobby Co. 300, 330 ounce Torx Servo, 3S LiPo, Dean's, 4S 100 amp. 4S LiPo uh, 100 amp ESC from Hobby King. $40 ESC. It's waterproof out of the box. Uh, go check that out at HobbyKing.com. They're killer ESCs. It's called the Quick 100 Amp Car ESC. And it's got more options than... I mean, you, you, I could be running that ESC. It's a Mamba Max. And, you know, everyone runs a Mamba Max and loves them. But I, I like this one better. These are better. More options, more settings, better drag brake. Uh, it's waterproof, completely submergible. Uh, this is absolutely awesome. I love them. Good find right here. So if you want to go check those out, I would definitely look into getting one or two or three, because they're 35 bucks. Uh, you got to ship them from China. They take about two weeks to get to you. But if you're going to order one and pay the shipping, you might as well get three or four of them and sell them to your buddies. That's what I did. <clears throat> um, Holmes Hobby, Curl Master Sport. 1000 kV outrunner, um, solid hardened uh, steel gears inside the tranny. Uh, the the output gear is a one piece solid gear. They're not the Robinson gears. They're just a like a solid hardened black 
carbon steel gears, uh, every one of them in there. The idler kept on stripping on me, so I went with that, and it's got a steel spur gear as well. Uh, 87 tooth steel spur to one piece. The whole thing's just one piece, goes into here, so there's no, you couldn't use a slipper, but uh, this thing, I mean, with the steel driveline, steel gears, and the tranny, and the, the way the axles are built, you can dive this thing off of a off a building and it's not going to break. I've had it in binds to where you hear stuff snap on any other truck and you just gun this thing and this motor's got so much torque on 3S LiPo that you could easily break a stock C-hub or, or axle no problem and this thing just drives through it man keeps on trucking. Got the TSL swampers on there, best tire ever made Motor works, uh, aluminum beadlock wheels, a little bit of weight up front, not much. This thing sits real low. Uh, I mean, it, it's, it's low, fast, and strong. As you can see, the, the axle is uh, tucked all the way up pretty much as far as it'll go. You can get a little lower if I wanted to if I got shorter shocks, but um, the center of gravity on this truck is amazing. It outperforms any truck I've ever owned. And <laughs> speaking of which, it's just funny how, how much you learn and when you look back on what you thought worked, you know, and the things you try to do to your truck when you first start getting into this hobby, it's pretty funny to, to look back and think on it. And if you go back in my video logs, you'll see I started out with an Exceed Mad Crawler, MOA Rock Crawler, and did some silly things to it. It was fun. Learned, but, uh, you definitely learn as you go, and I s probably still don't know much, and, but this is definitely the best performing truck I've had, and this is the body I run. We'll f finalize this video here, it's getting a little long. I had the Pantera playing. Uh, <clears throat> that's the body I run, as you'll see in the videos. Uh, check out a couple of my videos if you want. I'm going to make a really good one if I can get to it um, before I get rid of this truck. I made a couple, just threw them together, but uh, I don't really want to run it too much, so, um, but yeah, there it is, and um, that's the setup, Venom Creeper shocks and links and hand bros, uh, hardened spiral cut gears, hardened trans gears, winch, 10 feet of stainless steel cable, Waterproof. The whole truck's waterproof. Uh, I never take it underwater. I don't like to take the axles apart and clean them and shit. It's a pain in the ass. But uh, CBDs, gunner pins. Yeah, this is the setup right here. So hope you like it, and uh, hope maybe that gave some people some advice as well. Um, if you decide to try to build a rig, it's a good way to go. You get a creeper. They're only a hundred bucks, so it's worth it. Um, all right, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, please comment and uh, rate, good or bad, whatever you want. Let me know what you think. Later, I'll see you on the next build.